Rated NA, a very special episode. Uh, we have an interview with Milana Vintrub today from San Diego Comic Con. She, she's back for uh, round two. And the first time she was on was just about, I think, uh, four or six weeks ago. But for our new listeners, if you guys want to find us, you can find us on Twitter and it's at Nerd Appropriate. You can go to our Facebook page, which is slash Nerd Appropriate, or you can subscribe. There's going to be a button to subscribe to our show. We've been doing it for about uh, almost five years now. We, we love uh, running around and talking to people. And uh, Milana is a blast. Yeah, and we've got a lot of interviews coming or out already, depending on when you're listening to this. And that includes uh, the authors of this sci-fi series, The Expanse, uh, Brian Cranston from Supermansion, the new series, and then, of course, Breaking Bad and many other things, and Anne Foley, who yeah. is a uh, costume designer for uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Which is pretty exciting, so a lot of fun SDCC stuff coming your way. Plus a ton of other things that we've already talked about, and then all the usual things we do, so, so yeah. check it out. We talk about crap every week, it's what we do. We do. do. <laughs> so Milana, uh, you reached out to Milana and found out she was going to be at SDCC, right? Yeah, so they were there uh, doing a signing um, for Other Space, and uh, I believe the cast was only there for about a day. But you know, this was sort of a, a in my mind at least, a, a sleeper hit. Um, yeah. You know, revolves around a, it's a comedic take on a, a crew of misfits exploring the galaxy and uh, ha- going on adventures and having fun. It's on Yahoo Screen, and we had Milana on, like I said earlier. I don't know, um, a couple episodes back, and she was hilarious and tons of fun. It turns out she was going to be in San Diego Comic-Con. And so we ended up, uh, you know, seeking her out and having a nice little chat in, in of all places, a bowling alley, which was yes. <laughs> was our first interview ever done in a bowling alley, which is kind of fun. It, that is true. And she she's awesome. So check out Other Space uh, on Yahoo screen, and hopefully they get picked up for a second season. Yes. Uh, we haven't heard yet. But it is very much like that community or Freaks and Geeks vibe. Uh, really awesome show. So pick it up or go watch it. Yeah. On, on many screens and uh, without further ado here is the interview with Milana Vintrub at San Diego Comic Con 2015 enjoy So uh, we're at San Diego Comic-Con, and this is actually um, our first interview we've ever done in a bowling alley. It's true. Mm-hmm. And Not just any bowling alley. Yeah, so so we're back with Milana Vintrup, who's here for round two at San Diego Comic-Con. You were just on like uh, six weeks ago on the show, something like that? You guys should know better than I do. Yeah, I, I have it, no perspective on my I own life. I think it was about six weeks ago. <laughs> So you're you're a recent rated NA podcast nerd appropriate guest, which I have to say was one of the most delightful podcasts I've ever done. Oh, thank you. We try not to be a holes. That's sort of our our mantra to mm-hmm. be okay. We, oh. we hold it in. Yeah. We, <laughs> as soon as the guest is over, as soon as the guest is gone, we're like Fuck. we clench really hard when there's uh, a guest, and then when they're done, why? we just so it's confirmed. Yes, confirmed. <laughs> why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are? Uh, we are at the East Village Tavern and Bowl in downtown San Diego on Market between 8th and 9th. I, uh, what I, I noticed is you, you spit out the address very quickly. I was like, wow, she really knows like where this place is. Why yeah. do you know where this place is? So- I used to live in downtown San Diego and work at this bowling alley. That's awesome. I'm really jealous. I love San Diego, but I only come for Comic-Con. I've been coming since 2000. Yeah. What uh, do you love about San Diego? Uh, I like the weather because we live in, well, I live in Central Florida. He lives in, where the weather's a little bit nicer, but weather where I live is awful. Yeah. Yeah. I so, live in LA where the weather is always nice. It's always so nice. So San Diego doesn't have anything on that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy living here? Was it? Uh, I did because it's kind of a, a smaller LA. Like it feels more... Um, Dominable. Dominable? Like, yeah, I can dominate this town. No, like, uh, <laughs> like it, it feels more manageable, yeah. which is, is kind of fun. And um, and then I lived in downtown San Diego, which is actually really, um, it's great, like, it's accessi- accessible by bike, and the yeah. ocean is right here, and there, like, it's, there's very few towns that have high rises that look over the water. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, I thought found that very special. Cool. But then I also did really love working at this particular bowling it's alley. It's really cool. I, I was joking uh, when we were talking earlier that I've been coming here for a long time and I never knew this was here. It's kind of, and the fact that it's not insanely crowded right now. Um, is really a sign of their marketing. And co- <laughs> <laughs> I figured, you know, there would be a, a, like a ton, a ton of people here because of Comic Con, like a oh, bowling alley. But it's nice and it's kind of, you know, it, it's quaint. It's cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of tricked them into giving me a free bowl. Did you? Yeah, the, the, the waitress misspoke. She was like, and so you get a free bowl. And I was like, great, we'll take it. And she's like, oh, I meant bowling shoes. You get free bowling oh. shoes. And I was like, I think you said bowl. <laughs> and it worked? And it worked, yeah. You didn't, you like, didn't drop the bowl. You didn't say, well, I used to work here. You didn't no, say, no, no, nobody here knows that. No, it's an old, an old secret of yours. So you were here at Comic-Con. You were only here for one day. Yeah. And what, what's today, Thursday? Yes. Space Thursday, and you did uh, signing for other space, which I was super pissed that I missed. I was in like another thing, but I wanted to go see everybody. So Dude, how, I how can did get it go? you a poster and have people sign it. All right, it. That's I'll take hard. it. Yeah. I'm, a su I'm a huge fan of the show. I think it's hilarious and awesome. So yeah, yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we tell everybody about it. We like it. We do. <laughs> I figured I give you the mic. <laughs> Way to contribute. Yeah. No, no, for real. And um, so was everybody here from the show, or almost everybody? Uh, yeah, almost everyone. Almost everyone. Yeah. Um, there were some people who couldn't make it because of like scheduling and, yeah. and, and other priorities, yeah, which yeah. I spit on. What could be more? Important I know. Than what's Comic more Con? important than signing? Did you have a, a good turnout and stuff? A lot of people. Yeah, we had a great turnout, um, and everyone is super nice. I mean, there's nothing not to like about it. Yeah. There's Did nothing you... not to like. I mean, if you can imagine people standing in line, like gracious, kind people who have seen your work and been like, I like the thing you do. It's got to be kind of surreal. Yeah, yeah, it's so bizarre. So yeah. it's like it's out of this world. And then you get to meet them mm -hmm. and then shake their hand and take photos with them and make them happy because yeah. you took a, because I'm a fucking idiot and I took a photo with this person yeah. and that means something to them. Yeah. It's bizarre. It's beyond. You no, know? no, that's really cool. I mean, to get recognition for what you do and to have people line up to have you sign stuff has just got to feel unbelievable. So that's that's really cool. It's really nice. Any any word on season two yet? As a fan, off the record, <laughs> or uh, off the record. <laughs> that I, mean, we're I think you're recording this. I right? am recording this, so yeah. don't say anything if you don't know. So I don't know. You don't know. And it kills me. I and know. I, I like uh, the whole cast has been really struggling with it because we all really love the show and want to yeah. keep doing it, obviously. And so we're like, oh, okay, Chicago Comic Con. We'll know it's Chicago Comic Con. And then we get to Chicago Comic Con. And they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We still don't know. So if people ask, just say you don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, okay, okay. Well, the, the big Comic Con, the San Diego Comic Con, that's when they're going to announce it. And then we get here today. And they're like, okay, so if people ask, just still oh, say you shit. don't know. <laughs> it's a good sign that they're sending you out to sign stuff, though. I mean, the fact that, they, I mean, the, the fact that they're not like brushing you under the rug is probably a pretty good sign that they actually want you yeah, to. Yeah, they're not embarrassed of right. the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is a, a pretty highly uh, critically acclaimed show of yeah. theirs. Yeah, um, it's it, did, it did well for them. I just don't know, you know, there's so many factors in, mm -hmm. like, you, you as a company, like, as a business, and it's also Yahoo, which is a tech company. Yeah. Do you as a tech company want to invest uh -huh. more money in this, like, silly entertainment workspace comedy show? Right. I don't really, you know, who knows where their priorities lie. Right. right. I don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least it um, seems like genre shows, science fiction shows are, are very popular right now. So that definitely helps. That definitely helps the show and helps the situation. So what are you, what are you doing in the meantime? I see you're doing lots of stand-up and stuff currently. How's, how's how that all going? Yeah, that's been really fun. I mean, fun and hard, you know. Um, I'm not... I haven't been doing stand up that long. Yeah, yeah. And it just is the kind of thing that you need to fail at a bunch to get better and that almost makes me feel better about it. That yeah. like every time I don't have a joke that goes well, I'm like, Oh, okay, well that's yeah. this is the growing pains. This right. means I'm getting better. Yeah. So uh, so that's been really cool. And doing lots of like tiny shows in Chinatown with nine people in the audience and not telling people about that. No, that's and awesome though. I mean, it's like it's all a learning experience. I, I was a teacher for a while, and um, I remember I would, I mean, I, I like to get up and talk, and it's one of the reasons why we do the podcast. So I would tell a terrible like teacher dad joke first period and improve it as the day went on. You know, by and by seventh period, I'm like I was killing with that joke. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and I was hoping that the students wouldn't talk to each other and be like, oh, Sevilla said that joke first period. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> But like I was totally working on my material, you know, and then I might go on the podcast and say the same joke, you know, yeah. in, in a week. So, oh, no, uh, you're no, poor, they don't. You're poor first period. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't think they learned. I taught for like six and a half years. I don't think any of my first period students, which is like hundreds of kids, learned a fucking thing. Yeah, I know you were too hungover. I, I wasn't even hungover. <laughs> it was it was the fact that I was up not, at like five thirty in the morning. And I was just like pounding caffeine and like sleepy and angry and like I would just get up there and just you know just hey let's learn some history and just make you know make stuff up. 
Hi, this is Matt. Hey, Matt. <laughs> uh, do you feel like improv kind of gives you that shield of like the family, like you're all together in it? So when you're doing stand up, it's like, hey, this is just me. Because I like I played music for a long time, and that with a band always felt great. With like a guitar in front of me, it was great, like no problems. But the moment it was just like me and a microphone in a room, I'd be scared shitless. There's no way I'd know what to do with it. Yeah, I think maybe improv, doing a lot of improv, like doing like five shows a week or however many shows you're doing, it, it kind of gives you the idea that like not every show is sacred, like not every show is make it or break it. And um, that I think is healthy for the for the subconscious to just go in there and be like, this is my learning experience, this is my time to play. Right. And, um, and that ultimately I think makes you better at it. Mm -hmm. um, and then also just like riffing and having the confidence that like whatever it is that my brain formulates into words that come out as sounds is going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a, it's a, it, I do think it gives me a little bit of confidence. Yeah, absolutely. But um, not to say that I don't like often tell a joke and I'm like, what the fuck oh, was I know. that? That's the the none of those words came out in order. Yeah. That's there's, the like, there's like a whole thing with the podcast where when we have guests on and oh. I'll say something that either I thought was funny or I don't even know where it came from. And then I'm like, later on, I get the grace of like being able to edit it. <laughs> so I can be like, didn't say that piece of shit and like remove it from the podcast. But every once in a while I'm like, live, what yeah. the hell did I say? Like, did they think? And then you go in that weird spiral of like, did they hear me and process that dumbass thing that came out of my mouth? So I feel like in a stage setting it would be, I don't know. I'm basically admitting that I am terrified to get on stage with a oh, microphone yeah. and say anything. The, the thing to find solace in is to know that like nobody is actually thinking about what you said for as long as you're thinking about what you said. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> so you can forgive yourself and move on. And, and then what helps is just to try to do another show, like yeah. try to do another podcast and then think about all of the regrets you have in that one. Yeah. Let's so, see. But, I like that we're just passing a mic back and forth, by the way, and Ash is just holding it over well, here. Well, I'm selfish. Oh, um, boy. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> but I was going to ask, so you're saying that people don't hang on every word that I say as much as I think they should? Yeah. I mean, I hope that doesn't break your heart. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Yeah. So uh, have you been coming to Comic-Con for long, or is this like a thing? Because yeah. you lived in San Diego, yeah? This is my fourth Comic-Con. Oh, awesome. Um, I have a very uh, long kind of... It's kind of a beautiful thing for me, actually, Comic-Con. Do you guys want to hear the long no, story of it? No, I do. It? I, 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 please do. Okay, so the first time I went to Comic-Con um, was maybe, um, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. I was living in San Diego um, in college, very broke, working at this bowling alley. And um, I saw this thing on Craigslist that for... $50, you go to Comic-Con and you do a, a promotion for a film. And I had no idea what that meant. So I uh, showed up along with 90 other people. Oh boy. And um, it was a promotion for the movie um, District 9. Oh, okay. And, I think um, I was actually at Comic-Con that year. Yeah, yeah, and it was a really cool thing where we all were all like... 90 or 100 however many of us there were wore white hazmat suits and bombarded comic-con and uh passed out flyers as fast as we can because we knew that we were going to get kicked out oh so you you rushed in without passes no, or we anything had passes, oh, okay but still like something about that illegal promotion yeah, yeah. wasn't like approved by comic-con and so we all got kicked out very fast yeah uh, some of us were sneaky enough to like hide our badges and not get them taken away when they asked for nice. them <clears throat> that was me yeah. and, uh, <laughs> good so, thinking so that was my first experience with comic-con was just walking around frantically passing out pieces of paper yeah. you know not really soaking it in at all um, the second time I was here, I was working as an intern uh, for this show called Legend of Neil, which is a web series um, that is brilliant. If you oh, guys have seen um, it, oh, it's um from the the it's, guild. Yes, yes, Sandeep Parikh yes, created Sandeep. it. Yeah, Sandeep, yeah, yeah. Yes, he's it, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's yeah, one of my yeah. best friends oh, now. Oh, is he? Sandeep but is awesome. Yeah. He's my roommate, actually. What? Really? Yeah, yeah. You guys should have him on your show. Yeah. I would love to. It'd be yeah. easy. I just knock on his bedroom door <laughs> but um but but at the time he was my boss yeah. and um he was promoting uh legend of neil and i was out here selling t-shirts for him oh so that was my second experience at comic-con was just working at a booth 
And then the third time I was out here was when I had my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, doing interviews um, for, for the channel. And we interviewed uh, this show called Once Upon a Time and uh, got... The ABC show? Yeah, I think it's on ABC. Yeah, yeah. And um, we asked some inappropriate questions and got kicked off the red carpet. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, that video's online. <laughs> awesome. And I honestly couldn't have asked for a better button oh, for the no. video. Oh, no. That is awesome. I mean, that's, that's like everyone's dream to have a video that goes viral in that way. So that's that's really cool. For like the right thing, it feels like too. Do you remember any of the inappropriate questions or no? Yeah, and I wouldn't say it went viral. <laughs> uh, but it, we, yeah, we did get kicked off for asking. A, uh, I shouldn't say who it is, just out of respect yeah, to her. Yeah. But we did ask this actress with an accent to speak normally. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, can you just speak American? Can you just? Like our, Did you really? Yeah, like our audience won't understand brilliant. what you're saying if you could just speak American. That is amazing. And so she called over her publicist and her publicist kicked us off the carpet. Didn't want to have any fun with that at all. Mm, no. And this is like, they had no context that, that you guys were comedians or, or that you're... They should have. Our channel was called Live Prude Girl. Right. Like, <laughs> I mean, when we're... I, I don't know why they were taking us so seriously, but honestly, I'm very happy that they did because right. I think the video turned out great yeah. for that reason. That's amazing. And then the other thing is... Um, I I did this uh, werewolf video where I walked around in um, full werewolf prosthetics at Comic-Con. <laughs> And Why I, have I not seen these? This is hilarious. I don't know. You're not paying close enough attention. I know, right? Jeez. <laughs> so that was my third time at Comic Con, yeah. and now I'm here doing a signing, and it's just been like a that's, cool. Yeah, that's really because you've had a little bit of everything, sort of like the you know on the street, and then you're there, you know, as press, and now you're here signing stuff, which is awesome. Yeah, and so next time I'll just be the president of Comic Con. Yeah, is there a president? I think so. Confirmed. Yes. Pro maybe a prime minister of Comic Con. So. You ask you ask people to speak in their normal accents. What's your Russian? Can you speak in Russian still? Can you still speak Russian? Yeah, I can speak Russian fluently. Did, did you? No, I she did. in other space I spoke in Russian. Yeah, in other space you did. That's right. Yeah. Can, so if you want to hear it, you got to go watch uh, the show on Yahoo Screen. Yeah, that's good. No, go to Yahoo Screen and watch yes. for some Russian. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This has hey, been so much fun. This has been really fun for me, too. Yeah, it's been a good time. And we'll have you back on in the near future, hopefully, to talk about Season 2 of Other Space. I hope so. And other fun stuff. So, Milana Vintrube, where can people find you on Twitter? Mint Milana. On Twitter? Yeah. Perfect. Anywhere Perfect. else? Perfect. Um, Instagram, same thing. Same Mint thing. Mint Milana. Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening at the bowling alley. Thank you guys so much for coming here. Yeah, no, it was super fun. It was a great time. Yeah, my old stomping ground. I know. All right, we'll see you next time on the show. Okay, see ya. Bye. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to our interview with Milana Vintrub from San Diego Comic-Con. We have lots of San Diego Comic-Con goodness coming your way, so make sure you subscribe and it'll be transported magically into your feed. And you won't have to do anything. It's just like getting uh, free prizes. Uh, you can subscribe to us on Twitter. Well, you can't really subscribe to us on Twitter, but you can follow us on Twitter, and it's at Nerd Appropriate on Twitter. You can go to our Facebook page, and that's slash Nerd Appropriate, and click the old subscribe button, and uh, you'll get all of our stuff for free. And uh, we'll be back in the coming days and weeks with more San Diego Comic-Con goodies. For sure. Later, guys. See you guys.
Much. <laughs>